Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, turn of all ages, it is the DOUG here, and it's time to talk about the plus games we're getting for October. Now, of course, we're getting two classic games in the middle of October, Dino Crisis and Legend of Kane, I think, is one of them, the other ones, but those are the near the middle of October. We're here to talk about the three ones we get next week, next Tuesday. The first one is Dead Space Remake for the PS5, that is a 4 out of 10 difficulty, We'll take you about two to three runs, give or take on your skill, and I'll get to why in a minute, and 40 hours. And now the reason that one will take skill, there is a trophy called the Untouchable Trophy. You had to beat the game on the hardest difficulty, which normally wouldn't be a problem, but Dead Space has a little trick up its sleeve. If you die just once on the hardest difficulty, it deletes the save data and sends you back all the way to the beginning of the game. So you better be good. I'd recommend... Do a playthrough getting all the collectibles first and all that, then do another playthrough so you can understand the mechanics a little bit better, and then go on the untouchable one. That's actually the only trophy I'm missing because I have bad luck. There are a few bugs and glitches that may affect you doing that, but it is an e But other than that, the rest of the trophies are easy. Second game for the PS4 and 5, WWE 2K24. A uh, game came out as uh, this year. I actually platinum the PS5 version. It's about a 3 out of 10 difficulty, 50 hours depending on your skill. The biggest problem would be the online trophies because, um, for my faction, because there is a ranked season mode you have to do in that mode, and you can't get the trophy for completing ranked mode until the ranked season is over. So keep that in mind. The rest of the trophies are just miscellaneous, you know, for the other modes and all that. And then the last one is Doki Doki Literature Club, another game I own as well, but that platinum is the easiest. One out of ten difficulty should only take you two runs in 15 hours, Um, but you... But I would recommend playing it for the story because it does have a good story. Don't be fooled by it. That game is a horror game. You know, it doesn't look like it. It is a horror game. Trust me, I know. If you never played Doki Doki, you're in for a surprise. Uh, so what do I give next month? Well, I give it an A+. Even though I already own all three of these games, all three of these games are great. No one should be complaining about any of them. If anybody complains about these three games... I feel like you should just get all KO'd into oblivion. Go into be thrown into a volcano by Jin Kazama, okay? Um, or have Noob Saibot destroy you in Mortal Kombat, okay? I think it's an A+. If you disagree, I would love to hear your reasoning. And don't say, oh, I already own those games. Because yeah, that, that doesn't count. Anyway, I give next month an A+. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for um, streams and all that. We got the NFL pick show. I got to do the... Titans and Dolphins, and then I got a stream I'm doing in the morning as well. Till then, peace out. Enjoy the plus games we'll get next week, and don't forget to add the new plus games before uh, the September plus games before the end of the, uh, Tuesday. So, peace out, everybody.